All right, so um, one of you guys had commented asking to see more detail about how I removed the feet on the chicken. And so I have already um, butchered and processed my chicken. So all I have left are the feet. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how I do it. It's pretty easy. Um, you want to use gravity to help you. So you're going to hold it up. So this is the front of the foot. So you're going to hold it like the front up, if that makes sense. And then you can see this little um, ankle or knee. I don't know what the anatomy of the leg is on the chicken. But there's like a joint right here. And you can kind of see the joint the two bones right here on the side. I'm sorry if you guys can't see very well. My camera isn't that high quality. But you just make a slit right there. And that's where the tendon is also. So you slit right in there and then it begins to come apart. Like that. And so you're not cutting any bone. You're just cutting the tendon. Um, and the cartilage right there. And then you just keep holding it. Keep letting gravity hold it or pull it down, I mean, and that's it. That's how you remove the chicken feet. Pretty simple. So I'll show you again on the other side. So make sure the top of the foot is like kind of facing up, I guess. Find that joint, make your cut. There's the tendon. I've already sliced through the tendon. And now I'm just going to go around the whole leg, releasing the skin and the cartilage that was in between those, the leg and the top leg. That's it. Easy peasy. Um, some people keep the feet um, to consume for themselves. I guess they make for really good um, bone broth. I personally... Um, have not gotten that brave or desperate <laughs> to utilize the feet for ourselves. Um, I guess you can boil it and the skin on the top just peels right off. So, um, and then there's a little bit of meat on the, on the feet. So if that is your thing, go for it. Um, otherwise what you can also do is dry them out in a dehydrator or you can freeze dry them. Look at the times. I don't know about freeze drying, but on the dehydrator you would clean the feet really well and dehydrate them for, it took us probably more than 24 hours, probably more like around 30 hours to dry out a batch of feet. And then you can use them as dog treats. Dogs love them. So those are a couple different ways you can use the feet um, if you don't want to just toss them out. And then I wanted to show you guys in a couple of my, I've already a couple videos back, I showed you guys the process of butchering a chicken and plucking the feathers off by hand. I even showed you um, plucking feathers with a plucker, but I wanted to show you guys the gullet. Um, this is one reason why you want to starve out your chickens, um, or not starve them out, but you want to remove food ideally within 24 hours if you know you're going to butcher them. Um, I hadn't really planned for sure to butcher one of my meat chickens today. I just, I kind of thought maybe I would, but I wasn't committed enough to remove it from feed last night. So this is how big <laughs> the gullet is. The gullet is on the side of the chicken's neck. So once you remove the head, um, it's in between like the skin and the neck of the chicken and it's more attached to the skin there's like some fascia that holds it together so you would just peel it away and the bigger it is the more difficult it is to remove um, if you're able to remove it from feed for those 24 hours prior it deflates like there's no this is all grain this is where all their grain goes um, before it goes down into their like the rest of their digestive system kind of hangs out in their gullet for a little bit to break down um, but this is all, this is just their, their sack full of grain. So if I would have removed the chicken from feed last night, um, it, there would be no food in it and it would be a lot easier just to pull it apart. 
Um, when it's full and you pull it apart, you can risk rupturing it. And I don't, I don't think, like it doesn't ruin your meat if you rupture it. It just smells really bad and it's messy. So that's it, you guys. Um, if you have any other questions about the process of chicken butchering, just leave them below. And um, like and subscribe if you haven't already while I share my journey with you guys of our homestead that we've been building from scratch. Thanks.